What's up, people? New car, new day. I'm back from the Vintage Trailer Show. Hyundai has sent me their brand new 2017 Elantra GT. It's a little pocket rocket, but I'll be telling you guys about this car over the next seven days as I roll up and down PCH. But today, I'm rolling north. It's a glorious pre-fall day here in Malibu, but I'm headed outside going back up to Oxnard because today, I'm gonna be on the radio with the guys from Horsepower for an hour. And we're gonna be talking cars. Yes, for an hour. semi-autonomous with a brand new Cadillac. It'll cruise some of the roads without you on the wheel. We'll talk about that and more with news and views on horsepower for an hour. Nothing but pros here, man. Yeah. This is Donnie. Uh, I don't know what What's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, he's the expert on, on pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anything. It doesn't ask him anything you want. He knows. That's it. Two hours we're up, having a great time with these guys. They have a tremendous show, and that's gonna be recorded and uh, put up soon. I'll let you guys know when that's gonna be happening. Carrillo. Beautiful beaches right here. Off in the distance is Point Doom in Malibu. Then even further out is Palos Verdes, the peninsula that's way out there. And then further still over there is Catalina, which you can barely see. Boats going by. And then north is Anacapa and Santa Cruz Islands way out there. Very beautiful coastline. But the best part is Kathy. We almost got swept away by a wave because look where we were sitting, it's now wet. up into 
town, I got a little bit of a treat for you. There's a, a, a truly spectacular car that has come to wheels and waves uh, quite a few times. Don't buy a friend of mine, Joe Magliato, who is a blacksmith, uh, a guy that works with copper and brass and all kinds of metals, and a true artist. Uh, he has created some uh, tremendous sculptures, uh, all kinds of really neat things in this business, but among that, he's created a very unique vehicle. I'm not even sure you would technically call this a rat rod. It, it is a rolling piece of art, and we've had it, as I mentioned, we've had it at Wheels and Waves a number of times. But as many times as I've seen this car in person, I always see something new, and I thought, here's a good opportunity to be able to show you guys. I know a lot of you have wanted to see it. We're gonna get into the detail. Uh, we're gonna do a photo shoot. We're gonna do some stuff for uh, several of the, uh, the newspapers, magazines that are going on, and we're gonna take that puppy for a spin. Just another day in vlog country. get in it is to take the steering wheel out. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like a little kid. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> now time is dear. It ain't no lie. We're right about now. We should give it a try. Let's get on board. I'll kiss it on. Buddy Joe, uh, he has a rather unusual vehicle that we've been poking around Malibu with. You know, it's hard to describe this thing to someone who is, has never seen it, but... Yeah, it's, it's even hard. It's hard to take a picture of, too. It is. And, and you, uh, but you're a blacksmith and you have been for a very long time. Uh -huh. How many years have you been doing that? Uh, 21 years now. 21 years. And what was the impetus for creating something like this as opposed to 
building something for clients. What client's gonna trust me to build them that, you know, when I've never built anything before? Yeah, but I, you know, I've seen people build tables and, you know, build lots of things in the business that they're in. If you're a woodworker, you would build something. But, uh, you know, this is unusual. You don't see rat rods built in this way. If I'm working on a light fixture or a water fountain or a light chandelier or whatever, I put like all this energy and craftsmanship and, and passion into, into that, right? Right. Why not take all that same energy and put it into the steering wheel and then put it into the, the trunk? And yeah, because the each, and, each part you know, of this car, you'll notice, is a piece of art in itself. I mean, you could take the steering wheel off and hang it on the wall. Each piece that I made, like whether it was the seat or the, the footrest or the or the whatever, the headlights, you know, I, I just took my time to the best of my ability at that time with the time I had. And then I just, I didn't rush it. I just took my time and just made and how, it. How, made long it did, how long did it take? Four and a half years. On, really? On and off, yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Halt. It kind of evolved. Wow. Uh, I just started with the cab and a frame, and then we modified the frame a little bit, did some cool stuff and squared it up, and then, uh, you know, it just kind of happened. I didn't have a top on it for the longest time, <laughs> and then I just decided I wanted a top, so then yeah. the top just kind of happened. Is there anything that you would do to it now that you haven't done? Or burnouts, maybe. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> Driving this thing is like, it's, uh, my buddy calls it the skeleton key because it just kind of opens doors. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you strike up conversations with people that you never would any other way. Yeah. And we just had that. We just, you pulled it yeah. off the trailer and some guy walks up yeah. and it's just, wants uh, to buy it. It's just fun. Yeah. It, it puts a smile on your face. I've seen a lot of rat rods, you know, and, and, uh, and all of them are great because they're almost individual expressions from each individual person. But you have a skill that is much more than a, an average guy that builds cars. You know, you create uh, pieces of art for people's homes so, and, and you choose this particular type of material to work in. There's copper, brass, uh, what other metals you work with? Steel, stainless steel, aluminum, yeah. bronze. Yeah, and you have a bike also. Yeah. Or two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to see those also. Next time we'll That's see this. I I look at metalwork kind of like a, like a songwriter writes songs or composes songs. Do you think everything's been done? Do you think you think you've you've seen it all? I mean, you've had how many thousands of years for metal things to be made and and song yeah. songs to be written. And yet, every week there's a new song coming out that's like catchy and like, oh my gosh, that's it's my, truly it's my, it's my new famous song. Yeah, you know, my new favorite song. There's, there's so many things in my head that I still want to create and, and make, and it's just like you think you've seen it all, but there's you know the human mind is you know doesn't have limits. Like yeah. That. What's an inspiration that you have? Probably my kids and my wife. Yeah. Because I want them to take chances in life and to and to to try new things and and me doing this and like the, the tv show thing that i was on and this and that and the other i mean it's all taking risks it's yeah. all about taking risks and nothing's guaranteed and you got to do it though and it's you know ultimately i guess it's for my family you know I, I have a heck of a lot of fun at this well. yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's an experience to drive. Yeah? In in incredible experience. It's very raw, but it actually drives really well. I, I was surprised at how well it handles. It, it's a lot better than it looked. Yeah, I a mean, lot better. The, the seats are more comfortable than they look. The suspension is, you know, I got really lucky. Yeah, yeah. So where, where can people go to find out more about the stuff that you do as well as the car? Uh, 
I have a website, bigironart.com. I haven't updated it in a lot of years. It's pretty generic. But, okay. Uh, but did you get you? Uh, what's your Instagram? Uh, just Joe Magliato. It's right across the screen there. Thank you, man. Thank you for driving two and a half hours to get here. <laughs> It's fun. It's worth it, yeah. The car's awesome and uh, you need, might even have a buyer. Any excuse to come to Malibu is a good excuse. I'll give you more excuses. Yeah, good.